are finally gonna actually um, book a storage place and get rid of some of these boxes. Some of them I'll leave here because they're only like half full, but the full ones, I just wanna get them out of here because we've taken up this whole room and it looks awful and we don't even have space to wrap the Christmas presents. Like I've got a bunch of like big boxes over here that are actual um, like Christmas gifts for people, but I can't wrap them yet. So we're gonna go to Kenard, go to the cheapest one, get a unit, put the full boxes away, buy some new boxes so we can just get this, um, you know, get this room a little bit cleaner. But I've just got so done one box already and then this one's my uni stuff. And one of like three. And then hopefully go on a little adventure this afternoon. We were originally planning on going camping with my family, but there's actually some bushfires locally, so we just thought it's probably safest to not drive anywhere near there, and in case they spread, we can't come back again tomorrow. So we're just going to do something a little bit more local and get rid of all this shit. Mm, and scratch. And we scratch. Scratch each. And this one's mostly full, we could fit something smaller here as well. I just want to make sure those boxes if we seal them are like full and full. Mm. So like this one's fine. But this one has like gaps. So I won't take this one yet. But this one's like pretty. Yeah, so that can be sealed. Same with this one, there's like I can fit some like little things in. So I'll see if there's anything small I can slide in to that. But this is like literally a <laughs> Chuck a block. Oh, your mom put a flower in the thing. No, well, not a flower, a plant. Yeah, a plant in her, um, yeah. I don't know who that's for. I think it might be for Bryony. Oh, maybe. She must have picked it herself then. Cause but look, look what the, the candy yes, cane. Yes, the candy canes that you bought yesterday look great. They do. Look at it. It definitely is like a different vibe than the four, but you know, whatever. It'll do. I don't know, I just like don't really like red on the tree. <laughs> Should have got gold candy canes, they would have matched better. They don't have gold candy canes, that's not a real thing. They might. No, but not candy canes that you can eat. And they'd be super expensive, because then they'd be like full of like actual gold. And that's gold flakes that they gotta fucking like put in and then dip and then okay 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 i didn't say you couldn't put them on the tree i just said it doesn't look as cute okay so what do you think do you prefer a tree that has like more of a theme like how i had it before which is white and rose gold or do you just like a tree that's like a mash of everything because i know our old tree used to be like a higgledy piggledy all colors all shapes all varieties and it was like all the ones we'd made it kindy in school and like homemade like macaroni crafts and all sorts of stuff, which was fun as a kid, but, but you know, I know, I know, but it just doesn't look as good. Yeah, but, it's know, just not as aesthetic. Yeah, but look at that. It's like, and then on then Christmas morning, you wake up and then you have sugar in the morning. It's incredibly unhealthy. That's probably in the American thing. I had actually don't know where like the sugar cane came from. Like, I don't know. Probably not America. Probably, probably like Europe somewhere. And they probably went like sugar. They're probably like. Well, they called it candy cane. I'm sure they were made from candy. Mm. Anyway, okay. we I've never really been a huge fan of candy canes. They're just like sucking on sugar. That's the best point about it. <laughs> Vlog update, we are currently... Update the vlog! Sorry. Had to... Update the vlog, yes, yes. And don't hit the low nut. My, my Nana will be pissed if we hit her car. I think she'll probably just laugh about it. Um, we are off to the storage facility. I'll just look up the exact address. I know it's like 16 k's away, so it's not going to be like around the corner or anything. But that's okay, because then on the way home, we decided our adventure today. Our adventure for today is actually going to be going to... Um, fabric store because with the festival coming up I don't know if I've actually mentioned this on the vlogs yet but we're going to Falls Festival over New Year's and one I need to make some outfits for myself and just thought that Alejandro has always wanted a pair of overalls that actually fit him being a very tall man it's kind of I mean I feel 
feel like everyone knows that tall people just struggle to find anything that's like an all-in-one because it's either not going to fit you in the torso or the legs are going to be too short or... Well, it's like most of the sizing, like whenever you go anything bigger than like a 3XL, it everything... Just goes wider. It just goes wider, but like the torso bit, and like especially like with overalls, like that's the bit that matters. Oh, look at the smoke in the city. Yeah, the smoke is pretty bad, hence the reason that we're not going on any... Um, fun adventures for today. I thought maybe we could go down to the beach and just like enjoy a little picnic but I don't even know if we're gonna have a cute sunset tonight because there's so much smoke mm. over the city. Can we twizzle this to, to um, see or not really? Or I can just film it on my yeah, other you camera. Can just, yeah, just film it on that. Um, there's no one coming up behind us, is yeah. there? No. Because yeah, the smoke from all the fires, like there's a few extra fires coming and it might not look that crazy but normally this view is like perfectly clear all the way out like to the horizon. You, you can usually see like all the way past there where the smoke actually is, is like where Port Adelaide is and you yeah. can't even see that. You can't even really see the city that much. No, everything is just covered in smoke and like you can kind of tell this way that the sky is actually kind of, there should be some blue pockets of sky but this direction you just can't see like that's anything. So hopefully the firefighters like most of them are just volunteers, that's all they're just regular like regular people. Like tradies and like normal people, like lawyers and everybody that just can just like you know. Yeah, so do it. hopefully they get them under control soon. So we're looking at the map. If I can remember I might even like screenshot the little map and put that out just to show you like how many areas even South Australia, let alone like all of Australia and New New South Wales is still ten times worse. There's fires like all over the place there and like smoke all through Sydney the air is disgusting so hopefully we don't get that over here and it's only it's not even Christmas yet and that's the start of our summer season so that's just like really scary to think that we've still got three months of this kind of weather ahead if not more um, before we're gonna get some decent rain in again so anyway let's push that aside and get on to today's fun activity some more light-hearted things making some large overalls. <laughs> Okay, so we are here. The unit is all booked, ready to go, all paid for for the next six months, and time to load up the trolley and the lift and get our stuff inside. You done with the keys now? Mm -mm, not yet. <laughs> all right, well, I'll go get a trolley. This is our little unit. Yeah, so we'll put. <laughs> yeah, so we'll put all the boxes. Uh, well, ones we have currently, we'll just stack them all the way up here. And then I reckon you could get like a ton up that way. And then our mattress will go on this side. Like there'll be easily enough room in here. A little roller door. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, we'll have like plenty of room. It's just hard to like picture until you're actually fully in here. No, I know. <laughs> Stop popping at me, it's in. You're recording. I know, I'm purposefully recording. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're done at the storage place on the way to Spotlight now to go look at fabrics and craft things. And that was actually really easy. I thought it was going to be way harder to, well, maybe, maybe not way harder, but a lot more complicated, I think. But that's what you yeah, think. I think I guess you, more complicated. Yeah, that's probably it. Like, no, when I did it like two or three years back, it was also like really good, just super simple, and they they keep you in contact if like anything goes wrong. Because yeah. there's a when I did mine that someone like left theirs open and they just send an email to everyone going like, oh yeah, we just had a bit of an alarm scare. Don't worry, like someone just fucked up. Like don't worry. Yeah. So it's all good. No, they're pretty good. Canines is actually really really good. Yeah, I think it'll all be nice and easy and we paid six months in advance. We got a little 5% discount, which is nice as well. And we already went to the cheapest one we could find, so which is why we ended up coming out like half an hour from where we're currently living. But we'll only have to come out here a few times, hopefully. Got a few extra boxes, more of like the medium size ones. So we'll fill those up. We could honestly probably like fit 
way more stuff in there than we act well we could fit everything we have in the unit i think like we could even fit in the like cupboards like the yeah the stuff that we weren't planning on necessarily storing so, so that's, if you want to keep more clothes you can yeah so it's nice to know that there's the option to like keep more stuff than what i was originally planning because i do have slightly smaller sizes but i that would just be kind of pushing it for the mattress and then boxes as well when we got there it's hard to visualize a space like to imagine how much space you have until you get inside it and can see like the boxes you've got in there whereas the like the five um medium sized ones that we've already filled up and already put in there take up like two percent of the storage place so we should be fine all is good time to go and make some fun overalls hopefully mm -hmm. i think spotlight will even have a pattern which i'm definitely gonna get because i'm like i'm used to making clothes for myself but i've never made men's clothes and i've also never made overalls so I'm gonna try and get the pattern. I'll just have to like enlarge it probably because they're not gonna have one that's designed for your height. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. I can fin figure that out myself. I just hope that the fabric doesn't come to like $90 because if that's the case, it's better to just buy one. <laughs> I mean, we can see how much one is on Would line, cost. I guess. Yeah. Because like, when I did it, when I like looked, it was basically just like tradey ones or like fishing ones, and they're like six hundred dollars or something shit like that. Like, yeah. the, but like the the fishing ones are like the loaf, the not the loafers, are like floating ones that you can wade into shit oh. and wade in. So yeah, they're like no. like a few hundred bucks, and I'm not gonna get those. So it's just uncomfortable. Just to wear. Yeah. So like no, like I don't know. There might be like an American. We'll see. We'll go. We'll have a look at what they've got, and just yeah, we'll we'll find out. Yeah. It'll. We'll think of something. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll let you flavor the popcorn that we make then. Oh well, no, because that's not fun. Could be buttered popcorn? Yeah. Salty popcorn. That's Sugar just... popcorn. Cinnamon raisin popcorn. Mm. Daddy's favorite. Daddy's favorite. Context that is from the Try Guys, not just a weird fetish thing. <laughs> you sure about that? Yeah. Yeah. So, what I meant to say was we are back in the car, duh, got all the things we needed, spent a little bit more money at Spotlight than I had thought, but it should work out cute as long as you actually wear it and love it. I don't care. It'll be very well, okay. I'm, I mean, I'm gonna wear it. Pressure. You better bloody love it. If I don't love it, I'm still probably gonna have to wear it because you're gonna make me wear it. You are like... gonna have to fucking wear it. <sighs> but it'll be great. You'll have your first overalls and all will be good. Yeah. Yay for overalls. Yay for overalls. But we're on the way home now and we're not stopping for snacks. We are just gonna go home, settle in for the night, work out what we're gonna have for dinner and... I was just gonna make another burger. Okay, well I might make like the stir fry. Oh, maybe stir fry, stir fry. Stir -fry. Yeah, I feel like something a bit more like veggie. Full. <laughs> yeah, veggies. I ain't no rabbit. I need meat. <laughs> meat. But with the state of our room at the moment, I don't think I'm gonna film the actual process of making the overalls. I'll just update you either tomorrow or in a few days or whenever they're actually done and you can see the finished result then. Yeah. Okay, now it's actually a few days later and I'm not sure if I ever closed out this storage vlog, but ta-da, that'll be it for today. We haven't actually started packing up any of the other boxes yet. We've been busy preparing for Christmas. I'm actually filming this outro on Christmas Eve, so I'm about to sit down and wrap a bunch of presents. So I'm about to film Vlogmas Day 24, but there'll be two more videos after this one. So if you are excited for the rest of Vlogmas and thank you for watching this far if you have. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you tomorrow and the day after with brand new videos.